All your streaming widgets look like everybody else's? Hello, data fans! There are multiple workarounds to pimp your streaming widgets, from the markdown trick to the iframe sandbox breaking. Yet the streaming developers built another simpler way to restyle widgets, but you won't find this alpha implementation under the streaming experimental namespace. I mean, it's not even in the streaming nightly package. In this video, I'll show you how to restyle your app to make it more noticeable. Streamit is a React web app, which compiles to a bunch of HTML, JavaScript, and CSS for your browser. Any HTML element style is specified by its CSS. So if you want to restyle a widget in your app, you want to peek into your Streamit app CSS through a mirror as you edit it. Open your web browser. From the menu, turn to your browser DevTools at the Elements tab, or press the Inspector keyboard shortcut. It's a long HTML though, we don't have time to browse the full HTML tree for a specific widget like this. No not very ground cat image. Fortunately, there is a way to search the HTML tree for the element of our not round cat image. By clicking on the little arrow button called the inspector, you will be able to hover any part of the app and the corresponding HTML element will be highlighted in the skeleton. Another way of doing this is to right click on said element and inspect it. The image tag of the widget should now be outlined and you can even see the CSS skin here in the styles tab. Now, I want this cat to have round corners. Notice it is enclosed in a div container with an ST image data test ID attribute. And there are some other random CSS classes that we won't be using here because they will probably change between two streamed versions. Head back to the styles tab for the outlined image. And, you know, deactivate or edit some of them just to see how it Frankensteins the elements. At the top of the tab, there is an element style part, which you can edit to add and override CSS properties. Double click in this part and add a border radius key with a value of 100 pixels. This will override any other border radius property and now your cat has beautiful curvy lines. This is a good way of training your CSS styling skills. Now, don't worry, the CSS changes you make here will be lost the moment you close the browser. As a stream leader, how would you apply CSS round corners to the ST image? In our Python script, we would want a CSS styles argument to ST image with the CSS property you used, but that is currently not possible. Or if you're a streaming power user, you could create a ST container with a set of CSS properties that applies to every widget nested inside. Well, using a new CSS pseudo class recently added into browsers, except Firefox, they decided to hide it behind a flag, you can actually simulate a styleable container context manager. The secret is in the new CSS has pseudo class. One can inject a markdown span element with a key class in a ST container and a CSS selector which only selects containers that contains a span with a certain key class. If you have no clue what I just say, that's okay. There's basically a way to create an ST container which applies CSS styles to all its nested widgets. First, install the Streamit Extras package. It holds soft launched alpha features maintained by some Streamit developers. This package provides the new styleable container object. Move your cat image in a new styleable container context manager, just like you would add elements into an expander. Give the container a unique key and write down the CSS properties to apply a border radius to any image tag directly under any div with the ST image data test ID attribute. Any images in ST image divs, which are only generated through ST image, now have beautiful curves. Okay, let's style some more widgets. Create a new styleable container fitting the left column. Pimp the container with a background color, border radius, and a bit of padding for some negative space to the text. The markdown element doesn't seem to care about the parent container padding. Unfortunately, it has a fixed width defined by the Streamit server, so you also need extra right padding to the markdown element. Streamit Extras accepts a list of CSS styles. Make this a list, add an extra style for any markdown element in the container, and insert that extra right padding. It makes me sad that Markdown elements don't listen to their parents. Now we can keep adding more and more styleable containers. All they do is inject HTML and CSS blocks, so the performance overhead to the app is pretty low. But we're still talking about an alpha hack feature. Sometimes, if you can't do it, it's not because you're bad at CSS. It's just... it's, it's just a pain. First, this hack abuses the has CSS pseudo class, which if you recall previously, Firefox and some mobile browsers decided to disable. 
You can do like other popular websites and add an information in the sidebar to say use Chrome instead of Firefox. Second, widgets with responsive rift fixed by Streamit like the markdown or resize plots or data frames will overlap their parents' containers like columns and you will need to do some work on the target children to properly style them. Third, some widgets with appearing and disappearing elements like the select box may not be fully contained in the parent container, so they won't be targeted by the CSS. Fourth, uh, there are probably more of them and you should write them in the comments below. Th those are reasons why just enabling an external style sheet to a Streamit app not an immediate easy solution. But for applying quick color and size retouches to buttons and checkboxes, this styleable container is absolutely the best solution until an official one emerges from the roadmap. And in the harder cases, perhaps you should consider those alternative tricks. I'll see you around. Bye!